Now, down here is the magnets, so when these magnets go by the Hall effects, it's going to trip do all the timing for this bank here. So now watch this. Right now, the magnet is not over the Hall effects, so what happens is these two relays are on. See that? Red LEDs are on. So that's allowing power from that full wave bridge rectifier right there to fill up this capacitor, okay? Now, when these magnets do pass over there, it's simultaneously hitting two Hall effects. One Hall effect switches these off. See that? Those go off now. And these go on and these two up here discharge the capacitor to the load in a certain direction right now. So let's do that one more time. Magnets are not near the Hall effects, so these are on, these are off, it's not discharging, but it is filling the cap. Now watch this, I'll try to do all four switches at once. See those two up in the upper left are on? Now, as soon, there, see that? Those went on exactly when the others went off. See that? See how that works? So it's pow. This hits it a cap discharge. Now we want a cap discharge going the other way so we have AC. So let's look what happens over here. Now I want a, this Hall effect over here. Let's bring those magnets here. The magnets are not against the Hall effects now so those two are on through that full wave bridge we're filling up this capacitor bank. Now as I push it, the magnets near the Hall effects, bang, they just went on. This is when it discharges to the load. See that? And these go off so that the cap is not connected during the discharge to the generator coil so there won't be any lug, won't be any lens law lugging. Okay, so that's the theory there. Let's go through the uh, wiring. I'll just show you one bank here. There's a full way bridge. Here's the positive of the full way bridge right here. It feeds the uh, positive side. The flow of these goes like this, from positive and negative. They say positive and negative, but really it means the flow of the relay goes in that direction. So anyways, so this comes in here. These, When this turns on, it sends the power. This shares a terminal here, and that fills up the capacitor here on the red side. Uh, then on the other, the black side of the capacitor, it, uh, actually that was a wrong, this ground wire here, comes back here, which is also the positive side, so flow goes this way, and this brings the ground side of the capacitor back into the ground of the full way bridge, and it completes the circuit. So we're switching at both the high of the cap and the low of the cap on the positive side of the cap and the negative side of the cap and this will really isolate it okay now when you do the uh, discharge these turn off so don't worry about them anymore so they're out of the picture when the discharge happens we have the positive of the cap here right here and it goes to the positive of this relay and uh, it creates uh, it turns on and creates a flow from here to there and this wire here that I colored with some ink this is one of the output wires over here so that's that's the output.
bring it in back here. This wire right here is that one. So that's one side of the AC output. The other side of the AC output is a little bit complicated, but not that complicated. The other side of the AC output is uh, you put the load now on that wire and the other end of the load goes on this other wire that I covered with that I have silver ink on it and that goes over here to the other side and there's a reason for that it's because uh, this shares a ground with the ground over here on this the ground discharge relay you could call it this this relay discharges on the ground side of the cap this re relay discharges on the positive side of the cap so let's follow this wire right in here right in here and it goes over to here which is that other AC wire with the silver ink so that uh, that makes the cap short itself into the load uh, as the other side here the negative side of this relay as the flow goes this way ends up on the cap negative okay so anyways that's how it works